It's the 17th of the month. Wake up, wake up. This is actually a hell of a pack. It's got a bunch of different pieces for things. What do we got here? We got Through the Breach, which is great. Narset, which is great. Talarian Academy, which is great. Those are the three I'm really... Yawgmoth's Will. I'm not going to say that one's great. I kind of just want to Through the Breach. Got to run. Have a good night, everyone. Casual Crusader. Thank you for the support, buddy. I'll see you soon, I'm sure. I hope. I hope. Is it just through the breach? I don't want to first pick a Crassus by any means. You recording? Of course I'm recording. Of course. Of course, Badgerino. I'm breaching. Oh, we're Karnan? Are we Karnan? Hey, do my... How dare you talk to me like that? Here we go again. Sneak attack through the breach. One is fine. Two is better. Have fun. Don't look back. Deal. Okay. <laughs> That's perfect. Perfect. Done. There you go. Tip met. Yeah, I did meet that tip. Is it Karn? Is it control magic? Is it preordain? What is it, guys? What's the pick? Somebody tell me. Just the tip? Yeah. Just the tipulation. Badger says Karn. I think preordain. Preordain, I don't know if you guys know this, but preordain, fast bond, he says, preordain actually lets you find your combination pieces. Mana leak is good. Impulse is good. I like mana leak. I'm taking the mana leak. Oh, I like a Venser. I also like a Gruel Signet. Any, any on-color Signet is nice. Progenitus or leak proge I you guys I, I feel like we've been over this a lot, but you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to throw the breach of progenitus because it just deals ten and then you're done. And that's it. I think I'm gonna go with Venser though. I think Venser is stronger than than Signet. Come on through the come on sneak attack. We can still get sneak. <laughs> we have like two packs and fifth and eleven cards in this pack, and, and Unforgiven's like, we can still get sneak attack. Yes, it's true. But no, I don't think, I, I, unless you're saying Progenitus is better with Sneak Attack, which that, that's not true either. So <laughs> we're four cards in. You're like, we can still get it. That That's correct. Yeah, I agree with you. Oh, Sheldock is nice for this for this deck because we're already trying to have big fat idiots in our deck. Let's get our Sheldock on. Yeah, you got to Yeah, you play through the breach and then you put Venser into play. I'm a big fat idiot. <laughs> Patrick, you're a larger idiot, but you're also pretty, you're also pretty, pretty cut. You're not, I wouldn't say cut, like you're pretty ripped. What would be the correct terminology for Badger? Jack, Jack sounds good. Yeah, I would say Jack, solid. Turgid, stocky, meaty, chiseled. And uh, this has been... <laughs> this has been Frank's chat names. You know what? I have no... There's no way to say this sentence in any reasonable way. I think it's actually just Duretti because Duretti lets us through the breach. Big, beautiful body. Triple Bs. I'm going to take Duretti. Well, I don't like Season Pyromancer. I don't know if that's if that's known by now. I think it's just Faithless Looting here. I don't love Faithless Looting either, but I think it's probably better than Firebolt and it's better than Season. Is Season Pyromancer just a better Faithless Looting though? Hmm, maybe. Yeah, it might be. It might be. Mystical Tutor actually gets through the breach. So let's do that. It also gets the Ancestral or the Time Walk that we're going to pick up.
Wake up, Michael B. Do do do, Michael B. Michael B. Michael B. Goblin Welder came back, and we have Duretti. We might be able to do some some shenanigans. I don't hate Manamorphose. Also, Revoker could be decent. Revoker shuts things down, and it's also something we can Welder or Duretti. Yeah, all right, sure. Hmm. Avalanche Riders? I saw this. It's actually adorable. We're going to take Expansion Explosion here. Look at this good boy. This good boy is called Pilot. He keeps everyone safe at Vancouver Airport by keeping the runaway bird, bird free. Oh my god. We don't deserve dogs. Top, I hate you, but... You kind of do a thing. What we can do is through the breach Omnath or sneak attack it and then play our land for the turn. Gain four. What more do you want, guys? Okay, we're missing some components here. Someone did take the Mirror Battle Sphere to the surprise of no one. This is not the Emrakul we're looking for. I do love a Snapcaster. I do love a Brazen Borrower. I think we got to take Steam Vents here, yeah. Oh, mana drain? Oh, baby. Give me that drain. Oh, yeah, we're draining for sure, bro. Don't drain me, bro. Still looking for big sneaks here. I love Riftwing Cloudscape, as you guys know, but I think we're taking Is It Signet here. On color, double signet. I'm up. I have a, I have a little. It's like a little. Tiny little scabby down there. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear Hunter there? Also, is it Signet works very well with Duretti and Goblin Welder if we end up getting like uh, Inkwell Leviathan or not Mere Battle Sphere. Sundering Titan, anyone? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's actually pretty sweet. It also works kind of well with Through the Breach. And we're only going to be two colors, ideally. So I'm going to take Sundering Titan here. Would love to see some Eldrazi with Annihilator. That would be cool. Drain is almost power. You're right. I do want a big fat 15 man Emrakul. That's all I want. I, I really don't feel like I'm asking for a lot, but. Suddenly. Oh, um, hmm. Well, it was an emotional across. I'm like, oh, oh, hmm. That is a good one. It's not an artifact, so we can't get it back with two of our, two of our cards. I might just want Time Spiral here. Like, attacking for 10 and just making them mill 20 is just not that good I, it's just not as good it just doesn't it's the same as progenitus I, I think i'd rather just have time spiral and now i'd like cryptic command if that's okay with everybody exiling 20 doesn't win you the game and like in vintage cube there's so many situations where like you just can't close you have to you still have to close out the game after that like it's very possible for many many decks to kill you just because you milled 20 cards from their library like New and important factor today. Squirrels will adopt orphans if they notice a relative does not come back to them. <sighs> Dude, the animal kingdom is amazing. We don't deserve animals. Just 
There's a resto. What does that do? Nothing? I do like a Jace here. Yeah, I'm taking this Jace. We can also flash back through the breach, so nailed it. N -n -n nailed it. M -m 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 -my shot. You guys get it. We have a good time. Thass is Oracle. You don't do anything. Fallen Shinobi. You don't really do anything. Geist. I, if I'm taking an off-color card, I'd rather take Fallen Shinobi. I don't think Thass's Oracle is good enough here. It's probably better than Fallen Shinobi still. We don't have a Fallen Shinobi deck in any way, shape, or form. Is that a fact for Wednesday or Thursday? You gotta ask these questions now. Hmm. Emrakul. I don't like Chrome Mox. Yeah, we're just going to take the Emrakul. I mean, at this point, like, if we can just get enough power, like, cool. Mind's Desire. We're basically piecing together a, uh, a Storm deck. I'm going to take it. I think it's better than Sword of Feast and Famine here. Young Pyromancer. I feel like we could be Young Pyromancer deck. Preordained Mystical Tutor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't like Wildfire. Oh, was it Sphinx of the Steel Wind? Oh, yeah. I think that probably would have been better, actually, because of Duretti. Dang, that makes me sad. I think I just kind of blacked it out, probably. Not really sure why, per se, but maybe we'll take a char. None of these are good. Dark Ritual, I guess. Cabal Ritual for our makeshift storm deck. All right, last pack. It's got to come together here. There's going to be an Ancestral Recall and an Emrakul in the pack. That's going to be our... Mmm. Mmm. Tinker. Dak Faden. Oh, man, this pack's actually pretty good. Unforgiven, does Tinker count as a Through the Breach alternative as well? I wonder if we can Tinker. I mean, Dak is insane, but like Tinker kind of does the same thing. And we do have Phyrexian Roker, is it Signet? And we can probably get something on the wheel. I'm going to take the Tinker. I think it's just very good. Why can't I put you into play? I kind of like Goldspan Dragon here. Hmm. Chalice is all right. Yeah, it goes well with Tinker. I can see it. I mean, I feel like Goldspan Dragon is just, uh, it makes our mana easier for Cryptic. It lets us actually attack with this and then keep up Mana Drain or Mana Leak. I also think Chalice has a higher chance of tabling. I don't think anyone cares about Chalice. I also don't hate Torrential Gearhulk in this deck with Through the Reach, Cryptic Command, um, Mana Leak, Mana Drain. I actually think this might be one of the first decks that Torrential Gearhulk could be reasonable in. Mindslaver. Hmm. I do think it's conscripts. I'm I'm very I'm very heavily considering Bullis Citadel, but not really. I mean Chart is pretty good, actually. I do like Chart. I don't think I can pass as all as conscripts, though. On the bright hand, on the on the other on the other hand, Duretti is also very good with Duretti. <laughs> Like he he has a he has a built-in discard outlet, so it's not like it's definitely one of these two. I think I think that guy's just winning more often for us. Are we a Time Twister deck? I really don't think so.
my least favorite part about drafting the sneak attack through the reach deck is when you don't get the pieces. I'm pretty sure we've already passed the Nars set. I think it was like pack one, pick one, right? I think Frost Titan's actually probably good. Yeah, we can Frost Titan. That's a late Grim Monolith, and one I'm actually pretty okay with taking, especially when we have Tinker. Wow, that's a late Treachery. I'm definitely taking Treachery here. Inkwell Leviathan. Oh, baby. That feels good. Yeah. Inky boy. We also have Pestermite. That's kind of cool, but we don't have any other pieces, and we're not going to get them either, so we're just going to take Spire Bluff Canal here. Where is an Eldrazi? I mean, we got this guy. I mean, with two hits from Goldspan Dragon, it's likely we can just hard cast this. Okay, this Mox, Mox Diamond should not still be in this pack. That's actually kind of insane. Wow, Gear Hulk, Everflowing Chalice, and Ugin came back? Whew, that's actually pretty good. I, I think Gear Hulk's actually just better for our deck. Like, we actually have a good number of, of permanents. Or uh, of of targets. I think we take Char out. I think it's Torrential Gearhulk for like the first time ever. Uh, Baral is okay. Ugin's a Wrath, but he also costs eight mana. I mean, I don't know. I can definitely. I think Ugin might be, might be fine. Maybe we'll take Burning. Actually, maybe we'll just take Ashen Rider for. Nah, that's greedy. I don't know if I don't think we're playing either of those. Take vantage, I guess. Oath of Druids. Yeah, I mean with Cryptic Command and Mana Drain, I think this is actually a reasonable Gear Hulk deck. This is twenty six cards. We still need a good number of cuts here. I don't know if we're time spiraling. Good grief. Right, like you can tinker for it. If we had Ancestral Recall, I would definitely be like, oh, cool, let's tinker for a Torrential Gearhawk. I do like that we're only two colors here. I just don't care about Season Pyromancer. <laughs> uh, one more cut. I think it's actually Goblin Welder here. Actually, we have Jace to loot. We can go turn one Welder, turn two Jace, discard Leviathan, and then like... I actually kind of like Avalanche Rider. I think it's about time for me to put some pants on and head out for the day. Got to get some new tires on my car and do some clothes shopping. Badger, good luck with your tires, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. There's beauty up above. I think it might be Avalanche Rider, though. I'm so sad to say that, like, our Through the Breach is still just not where we want it to be. One Eldrazi would have actually... Would have actually done it for this deck. I mean, I'll still hit them for... I'll still Sundering Titan. Why are we putting that in here? And hit them for a million, but... Yes, like an Ulamog, but an Ulamog with Annihilator and not a shitty Ulamog that only mills them for 20 because that doesn't do anything. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13 versus four, five, six, 13, six. Mm, that's a little skewed. I think it's actually, this is, this is nine, 10. 
that seems much better. Uh, with cryptic command, we'll actually go eleven eight. But if you hit them twice with that Olamog, they die for mill. You know, I guess you're right. We are but shadows and dust. What is that from? I feel like that's from like Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey or something. No, Bill and Ted's Excellent. It might just be the Excellent Adventure itself. Oh, what up, Beer Man Man? It's your boy. I mean, this is also just a deck that could just win with a gold gold span dragon, a frost titan, a treachery. Interesting. That's from Gladiator? Hmm. Who knew? Oh boy, this is taking a while. Two minutes later, guys. Two and a half minutes later? Three minutes later? Who knows? Deal. Get him. Storm count one. I don't know why that showed up there, but there you go. Oh, I guess we're both doing cheaty things. They're going to probably do much better cheaty things than we are, so. Just passing here. <laughs> okay. Seems fine. No, don't like that. Wasn't expecting to have six, eight, nine drop in hand, but you know, that's life. Cryptic command would be nice. Okay. Discard Gristlebrand. Seems good. Seems good. Just yesterday morning, they let me know you were gone. Okay. 
And I bounced your dragon, Lord. Put it back in your hand, you dummy. So they get to go Recurring Nightmare. They can discard this. They can sack Putrid Imp to get back the Dragon Lord of Tarka, but then they don't have a discard outlet anymore. Not sure that matters. Yep. Whew. Where was that? If they play anything this turn, we can go Mana Drain, then we can... I mean, it's not going to matter because they have a big 8-8 flyer on board. <laughs> we have three turns to deal with it. Okay, so we're just dead on board. Got it. Oh, good times. All right. Dragon Lord of Tarka was the card they played. That killed us. We only have Mana Drain, Mana Leak. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all the leaks. It does actually look like it's flying. It looks like it's hovering over this this lighthouse. I guess it's actually just jumping out of the water. I also don't know how it's an artifact because really, like... You ever heard of rust? Come on, buddy. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I mean, I think everything looks fine here. I, I mean, I think Avalanche Riders and Burst Light, Lightning are considerations, but I really don't care enough to kill, like, to bring in a Burst Lightning just for a Putrid Imp. If we had two lands here, I would 100% snap keep this hand. And I'll definitely keep this. Let's put Young Peasy back. Oh, good. They're going to go first turn discard something. Oh, no, they're not. Okay. I was like, it's always a funny play when they're like, first turn. Move to discard. You got it. <sighs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Seems good. No third land, huh? That's about right. Interesting. So they can't actually activate this or else we get it back, which is kind of cool. I wonder if they know that. They might not care. They might just literally need a way to get a card in the graveyard. Which they seemed to do. 
Discard Gristlebrand, I assume. It's always Gristlebrand. Or they're just going to give us back discarded an Una's Prowler. I mean, that didn't seem like what they wanted to happen. <laughs> so... Yeah, based on the pause after that, I feel like they didn't actually. Oh, they did that during their upkeep? That's interesting. Interesting. Well, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> What are these hands, man? Like, this is really kind of frustrating to, like, never hit the, the lands you need to play the spells in your hand. Like, Doretti is so good. We discard both of these. Next turn, we... Ugh. Ugh. Sacrifice a creature, sure. What well, does not matter? No one cares about that. Well, the reason is because it says uh, if there are five or more cards in your graveyard, exile Jace, then return them to the battlefield under its owner's control. Like, it says it on the card. It's not like you have to know how transform works because most cards don't exile. The planeswalkers have to because that's how you get the loyalty counters on them. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Super cool. I mean, we're having a, a good game where the resource system is not any any relevance here, so that's nice. Discard Scarab God, sure. Bring back Scarab God. Did they like misclick with the Una's Prowler? Or do they just like back to back draw Putrid Imp Scarab God? Like, which one? <laughs> Fucking come on. <sighs> Dear. This is kind of obnoxious. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six. Well, Jace gets to go to one at least. Mm. My local gaming store told me the Strixhaven is supposed to be Harry Potter themed. Don't know if that's for the real. It's not Harry Potter themed. It's it's wizards and like it's like a school of magic themed. So, I mean, like, it's it's like Harry Potter, but, I mean, it's not Harry Potter-themed. Oh, discarded time walk, huh? Okie dokie. Harry Potter was X-Men themed. Oh, God. Oh, they time walked. All right, I'll just go to the next game. I don't even care about this. This is a terrible match. Like, you just can't hit a fourth land for 15 turns. Like, okay. I walked out this morning and I wrote down this song. Nice. Hmm. Oh boy. 
So this is three. The amount of mana we'll have when we cast this is three. So if we counter a three drop, we can just slam this guy down on turn four. Okay, so now that they have like the potential for five mana next turn, I'm kind of I'm kind of in for just passing with the drain. Okay. Well you're just gonna play something I don't care about at all, I guess. How's your left arm today? I don't even understand what that means. I guess it's good. I really don't have any... I don't have any left arm complaints, really, so, you know. Not going to slam either of these and have mana drain. Did I get the vaccine? No, I did not. <laughs> I, uh... I don't, I don't have enough qualifications to get the vaccine and I work from home. So I'm like not going out anywhere. And like, I'd rather not take up a slot that someone else can use. Oh God, what is happening right now? Four, green sun for three. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're just gonna manage in this, and then we're gonna cast Inkwell Leviathan, hard cast Inky. Give it to me. I guess we'll play this for two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Fucking die. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, in order to get, like, the first wave of vaccine, you have to be, like, in a in a medical profession or, you know, like, uh, in, a, in, a, in a position that exposes you, like, teaching or whatever. And, like, in order to get it for, like, I have to be old or I have to be, I have to have comorbidities. And, um... So, I mean, I'm like, I'm grateful that I just, I don't, I'm not like super. I mean, I'm fine with waiting. Like, it's not a huge deal. Katie's already vaccinated, which is great. Michael's not. Plus, it's been, it's been said that like everyone can have the vaccine by May 1st. May, May 1st, it should be available to everyone. So I wish I could actually click on a card on board. That would be cool. I'm going to name Devoted Druid because this gives them two mana. Make that goose. Okay.
a few big dudes. Like, I, I like that we were just able to get out friggin' Inkwell on, like, turn four and then just, you know, not have... I think this is this is definitely a, a better matchup for Burst Lightning, so let's bring that guy in. Uh, burning. I, I gotta see more for burning. Because, like, we don't have a ton of artifact mana. We have, like, Grimmolith, Mox, and Signet. So we're not, like, super burn-proof. Sundering Titan does seem good here, though. I'm just gonna submit like this. I can submit, with, I can submit for it with 18. It's fine. Double red mana drain hand. Tinker, no artifact hand. Mulligan. See, this seems okay. Let's get rid of Gear Hulk. Once we tinker for one of our big boys, we burn them. I feel like you gotta have a lot of things going right there. Oh man. We could also just, actually we could also Jace, try to find a red, discard Sundering Titan, Duretti it back into play off of Grimmy. Let's do that. That seems better. Green Sun for three again. Get your Leovold. It's always Leovold when you're playing Saltai and you're getting a... <sighs> well, we got a red. <sighs> Hachi machi. So we're going to play Grim, play Steam Vents. Next turn, we're just going to discard Duretti. And we get to kill all of their lands. That's pretty good. Oh, now they get to keep one. Dang. Okay, so let's draw. Pitch this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. I'd love to kill the Leovold because I don't really want them to draw like 19 cards. Huh. I think I want both of these. <laughs> And I'd obviously rather kill the mountain. Oh, what up, Fritz? Um, like, we can tinker this turn for Inkwell, which is actually pretty good. But I think... Oh, we're not drawing because of the fucking Leovold. God dang it, I forgot about that. Okay, well, that's fine. All right.
Hold on one second. Uh, choose blockers. No, I'm good. Yeah, I just wasn't saying anything. I imagine you can hear me now. Hmm. Oh, this isn't target. This is just choose. I thought they were going to draw three cards from the friggin' from the friggin' Sundering Titan. Oh, wow. Let's get ya boy. Inky McStinky. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we don't have Island Walk anymore. I mean, we can still wait. We got time, right? I really don't want them to kill my <laughs> to kill my inkwell, so that's unfortunate. Are you gonna get an island? Also, a red source into burst lightning is oh, that's ooh, that was good. That keeps us very comfortable. Red source? Dang. I don't really care about that. <laughs> it's still just green, and I'm not going to mana leak a devoted druid. I just need one red source. That's the opposite of what I needed. I have two colors of mana in my deck. One is red. The other is what I draw. Questing Bizzle? I'm actually going to counter that thing. Can you not give them the island you drew? You know, sometimes... Sometimes I wish I could. One red source, coming up. It's kind of like a red source, right? I mean, it does turn our future islands into red sources, which is pretty much all I could ask for here. <sighs> A single red source would have actually ended this game several turns ago. I could even turn a mountain into a red source. You're not wrong. I am dead inside. Oh. Uh.
Swamp, hissing quagmire. Is it possible you would mind just playing an island? Seems like not a lot to ask for. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. You know, it's funny. Playing that island was actually a mistake. Oh man, this could be it. That's the ticket. Oh yeah. That was very good for us, I believe. Red source. Shelly. Actually, Sheldock's pretty good because we can treachery untap Sheldock. Okay, we're we're living the dream here. Is it Signet is a red guard? Uh, so we can use the one and activate this. Play Signet. Keep up Cryptic Command. And then we just have... Yeah, that actually seems like the winning play. I still can't attack here, though, right? Like, Because then they'll just go 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They'll block with everything. I guess we can shoot something at that point though, right? And not worry about Cryptic, and then we're still not dead because we have Leovold. Yeah, this seems this seems correct. I mean, I didn't want to waste the Burst Lightning when we have Cryptic Command in hand, but... Uh, we're tapping their team next turn. Yep, this is exactly what I thought they'd do. Four, five, six, seven. Kill the Chupacabra. Okay, so they get two guys now. Yeah, that is fine. Yep, this seems significantly better for us. Now Leovold can block everything they have. We have five mana on board as well, so if we draw any land, we can go Cryptic Command, tap their team, attack, and then... Oh, actually, we just tap their team and they die next turn, so... Ah... <sighs> I think we're doing okay here.
Okay, hold on a second. I sent something. Okay, so. So one problem with this plan is that they just go tap, 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 activate Quagmire. So again, we're just going to pass here. Actually, we're going to play this guy, and then we're going to keep up Cryptic. At the end of their turn, they're gonna we're going to tap their team because they have to crack Scalding Tarn in order to activate Quagmire once the Devoted Druid's tapped. I've never seen an Inkwell Leviathan held back this long by a person playing blue. It's pretty wild. Acidic slime, huh? Well, that's going to be the game. Counter it and tap all creatures. Oh, God, that was a grind, dude. Nice, my keyboard isn't working. It, I read that, it worked right there. All right, let's do it. How do you get 36 trophies? I literally don't know. It blows my mind every time. I understand that Jaybro is a great player. But to not only play 36 events, but to play more than that and have won 36 of them is fucking mind-blowing. I literally don't understand it. It is absolutely confusing to me. Even if he's 75%, that means he's done 48 drafts so far. And that seems completely insane to me. I love Vintage Cube, and I do like, I've done like 15. Oh, I, yeah, we're just going to preordain here. I, I don't feel like managing. Oh boy. Bottom, bottom and another land. Okie dokie. So our hit with Sheldock was three lands. Our preordain was three lands. So that means three lands are on the bottom from this and two lands are on the bottom from this. Five lands are on the bottom of our library. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 11 of our lands. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to play that because I do want to keep up Cryptic. Now that they have one, two, three, four, they'll have five mana.
<laughs> I guess he's Neo and MTGO is his Matrix. Man, that's sad because I thought I had the... We're going to counter this because we have Cryptic in hand. Not that big, beautiful body. <laughs> yes, that big, beautiful body. That's interesting. Might as well name Wall of Roots. Wall of Rudy Tooties. Should have named Garbage Fire. I don't think that's a legal card. Although it might be on the list. I don't know if every card in Magic is on the list. Ugh. Is this a card I care about? Kill my Revoker? No, that's fine. I'm not going to cryptic a stupid walking ballista. Pew! You got it. You got it. You're going to regret that. Yep, that's also fine. All these are fine. None of these are exciting. The cards I'm drawing are not necessarily great. One, two, three, four, five, six lands. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands here. We bottomed five of them. So we've hit 12 lands and an Izzet Signet so far. Out of, well, not out of 13 cards, out of more like 15 cards. See, this is a card I want to counter. <laughs> counter spell, draw a card. One, two, three, four. Oh, Doretti's actually nice when you got two mountains in hand. And they have like no pressure. And you have a shell dock that you're trying to get closer to. At least we have red sources now. Well, when you do when you do research papers, you should always you should always read your sources. Easy choice. <laughs> um, so this is interesting. No, we're just going to... Like, Mox is a pretty easy discard next turn. I don't know why I hang out here. <laughs> yes, you do. Unless they change something, you can queue on the same... Yeah, you can... I don't... I didn't... You. I don't think you can join the same league twice, though. But you can join, like, a Kaldheim league and a... And a vintage cube leaving and play your matches twice. Oh, for fuck's sake. Goodbye, Doretti. I'll always miss your mom's spaghetti. Because there's no way to join the same league twice and play different matches in that league. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's not terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six. Might as well tap a land down, I guess. They car they can carn it, but then they trade they lose their carn. Like I, I'm 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 much more concerned with getting the carn off the board than I am with like keeping my frost titan. And if they want to hit our hand, we can easily get rid of Mox Diamond, so that's fine. Hmm. 
sure. Okay, this is a lot of nothing. Oh my god, this is so many lands, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus five on the bottom. We've had we've seen 14 of our lands. And we have not shuffled from anything, as far as I can tell. I'm gonna tap Wall of Blossoms, because that's the card I'd least want them to block with. It's hard to watch you and police all these hot tub streams. What does that even mean? I don't even know what you're talking about, you crazy maniac. Sure, I'll eat that thing. Oh, they're going to put another counter on their walking brolista. I watch them for research purposes and report all of them. Is that a thing? What are you? I don't even know what's going on right now. I'm actually tempted to Venser here and bounce our shell dock. I think the next hit we get has to be better, right? Okay, I have nothing else to play here. Plus, like, if they want to use Karn again on Sheldock Isle, they're going to have to, uh... They're going to have to kill their own Karn. Oh, they're going to put it to one. Gold, gold bane dragon, gold span dragon, gold. Oh, fucking god! <laughs> Here's gonna be the gold dragon. Dragon's gonna be right under here. You ready? It's gonna be four good spells. Next turn, they're gonna kill the shell dock. This is gonna be our life. One, two, three, four, five. They also have. They can add. Oh, um. Okay. Well. Hmm. I'll put an Emrakul to Promised End under there. Those are some bangers, though. Attack. Karn Liberato. Tap down the Ballista. The Ballista can become a 3-3, three, three, and then they can also block with the Beast. So we got to tap one or the other. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a feeling Karn's going to go to one here and they're going to get rid of our Shell Dock Isle. Sure. I understand.
I saw on your Facebook page you saw snow the other day. Is like, no, this is not my first ever snow. It's just it was just one of the biggest blizzards in Colorado's history, so kind of a big deal. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. What is it? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure. You got it. You got my Vencer. I mean, we're slowly eating their things, I guess. Land? Sell us conscripts. They have no cards in hand. We can't kill their Karn. Ugh, that's not even that great, to be honest. None of their Planeswalkers are murderable right now. We could steal the Walking Ballista. Tap one of their Walkers down. I, th I do think we wait. I'm gonna keep tapping the Wall of Blossoms because it's the best card for them to block with and I just don't feel like them blocking with that, so. So three, four, five, six, they have eight mana exactly so they can put two counters on the Bur Burlista. So one thing we can do actually is if they uptick Garrick, we can steal Garrick, ultimate it, and then kill Karn with it as well. Kill Karn with the with the with the creatures that we have at our disposal. Mm -hmm. Let's get rid of an Islandos. Interesting. Well, right, we can't steal, right, we can't steal it for any effect, but we can steal it to get it off the board, is my point. Oh, are you saying... I don't know what's going on right now. Well, they didn't uptick again. That's unfortunate. God, the mana sources. The mana sources!
here's what we can do. We can steal this stupid beast. Attack Karn, attack Garrick, and attack Garrick. But I think we're dead if we do this, right? Like, I mean, like, I'm pretty sure we're dead. That's the problem. Yeah, we're definitely dead. 6, 79 to 11, 12. Yeah, it's not great. I actually think we should have taken the Karn and killed, like, one of the... Yeah, they're just not going to block. They're like, cool, because then they just kill us for... They die us for 5. Like, this is this is 10 damage right here, and then they just activate the falls, and then they get their beast back, so... Like, just not great. <sighs> Another deck I feel like Burst Lightning is probably good in. I don't think Welder. Uh, no, I actually don't flex on people hardly ever. And I find it quite uncomfortable when people flex for me. Any way to like any better way for planeswalkers? Not really, I guess. I mean, char could be decent. It, could, it actually goes to planeswalker faces, and that's important. No, cast there. I knew you were joking, but like. It's, it's something I'm not like, su like, I don't, I'm not a big braggy person is the thing. So like even Katie, like Katie will joke to people and she'll be like, do you know who this is? Do you know who you top aided the pro tour? And I'm like, stop, please. Like, don't, it just makes me really uncomfortable when people like, um, even jokingly, like, like tout my things. Ugh, this hand's bad. This hand's good. Let's get, oh, actually, Revoker Tinker. Um, Let's get rid of one stupid mountain. All we need is a blue source here. <laughs> Which is technically true, but usually not relevant to the situation at hand. Uh, Bottom and bottom. All right. And then we never found a third land or a second blue source, you see. Checks out. I'm going to say Devoted Druid. I just want to remind everyone that Juggernaut flexes all the time. You know, that sounds correct. I mean, it still seems worth it to get Sundering Titan here, right? I could even be tempted to char this guy after we attack. That seems stupid, though. Actually kind of glad this isn't an island, to be quite honest, at this point. Um, I mean, with this hand, it is.
I mean, this guy seems hard to deal with when they have two lands. I lied. I, I totally lied. It's a very easy card to deal with because everyone has an Oko. Still no second blue source, huh? Okie dokie. I got a 3-3. Three, three. Ideally, we draw second blue, so we have four mana. See, now we're talking. So I just want to counter a five drop so we can ink well Leviathan. I don't think that's too much to ask. Or a four drop, I'll hit a land. You know, either one of those things. Create a food. So delicious. You got it. I mean, I still think we can win this game with an equal Leviathan, to be quite honest. Although, let's talk about how obnoxious Oko is. <laughs> it's been the bane of my existence today. Oh, that was a great card to draw. Unfortunately, we've drawn, and we even put a mountain back from our hand when we mulliganed, I believe. Sure, they have to block. They're going to get two one ones. I think this is fine. Interesting. Well, now they're in full control, unfortunately. Really? Not going to play anything, huh? Sounds good. Oh, five mana treachery, huh? Well, this this is going well. Are we in this round three? Yep. All right. So we're going to take seven here. Oh, eight. Oh, my bad. Yep. And then they're just going to not play anything and pass. Cool. Uh, 
<sighs> Even if we steal one of these and untap everything, we still die. So, all right. Well, one, two, unfortunately. The sneak attack through the breach deck did not get there, which happens probably 50% of the time, I'd say. Unforgiven, I still really, really appreciate it. Thank you for the sub, or the, the stip, man. Really appreciate the support. You are awesome. I'm sorry that we did not get more Eldrazi in our deck, but what are you going to do? Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check me out on twitch.tv slash frankreportmanitraders.com. Cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.